the final play barring a penalty of regular of regulation time we'll see what happens here Jake not at quarterback one protector back Knott's going to let it fly. Here it goes. It is in the air, and it is caught. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. What it a is oh. it, the very thing that you thought wouldn't happen, oh. and what an unbelievable oh. end to the football game. Kirk. What an unbelievable end. The senior this Kirk Kessler, who was quiet the entire day, catches the deflection from Ryan Short. Unbelievable. Kirk Casper, the second leading receiver all time for the Little Giants, had been shut down all day long and he catches the deflected pass for the game winner. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We have talked guys all day long about sensational individual efforts and plays and we just saw another one. Here well, it comes. This is going down for posterity. Wow. Look at it again. Joe, you this, take it and we'll get uh, we'll get David's comments likewise. Here we go. Jake not threw it downfield. He threw it well short. He threw on his run, on the run. He wanted Ryan Short. You see Ryan squaring to the ball. It bounces off Ryan Short at the six, and Kirk Casper is right there to catch it for the game-winning wow. touchdown. Wow. David? And the very thing that I tried to say before the play took place was that you got to be in a position to knock that football down. When you tip it and it tips backwards, anything can happen. And I, I just, I mean, unbelievable. Here it is again. Now, I don't know if this tip was intentional. I'd, I'd like to think it was, but, uh, yeah. man. Yeah. Let's see. I don't Can think it was. No, that, uh, I don't know. It, it may have been a design play for him to tip that ball up, and with his size, he can do that, get up there, tip the ball, and you've got to cover for the guy behind him. And that didn't happen.